My name is Tracy Barrell, Order of Australia Medal recipient to OEM. I'm from, I'm currently living at Benora Point. My country is Yala from Sydney. I am one of the Living Life My Way ambassadors as well and I do motivational speaking and a lot of advocacy work so yeah I was asked to come along and help facilitate. It's all about um, getting the whole community involved in it and um, instead of relying on all the organisations so much because people can start choosing to hire, you know, to get, get so um, support workers in their area that could be university students that um, want to earn a bit of money but they're the same age as the people that they want to go out with so it's sort of instead of having different age people they can select the same appropriate aged people so then they can form friendships and bonds and just do things that relate to their same age group so mostly for the probably for the early teens to the mid 20s I think that's important to have a peer worker so I think peer working is going to be readily available and more people like other people with disabilities that might be more functioning would be able to support them as well so they'll have that peer support worker role as well as more more opportunity for everybody really. It will mean I don't just have to rely on my disability support pension to buy the equipment that I need to get around and to be able to do the things that I love doing like uh, hobbies and just getting out and about, going on holidays with my kids. Uh, all that money comes from just my DSP. I'm currently working but I don't know how long I'm going to be working for so it will help provide me the tools to get out there and keep living my life. Friendships, meeting people, um, hearing other people's stories, seeing how other people are so candid and open about their situations, uh, hearing stories about um, how passionate families are to advocate on behalf of people that are non-communicative. So yeah, it's just um, broadening my horizons and perspectives on other people's lives. The challenges I face are people's perceptions and their instant ideas of what they think I'm capable of or actually not capable of. And um, yeah, just sort of like the inclusion in broader communities, I think they sort of, sometimes they're a bit too precious or the political correctness has gone a bit too far, so I'm completely ignored because everyone's too worried about what they might say. My kids do nippers, so I've joined, I joined as well. So I forced myself, I put myself on the cash register for the sausage sizzle. So all the other families had to engage in a conversation with me at some point if they wanted a sausage. So. And it was really interesting because if, I, if I'd have just stood back and just been a parent of my kids, I don't think uh, a lot of people would have approached me, but having to say oh, I'd like sausage, and at first people were saying, I would like a sausage please, and here's the correct money, and, and stuff like that. But once they sort of got a feel that I was interacting and laughing and being able to give them the correct change and things like that, so it, it broke down the barriers for them as well. The world will eventually cater for us a lot easier and I think there's just so much more opportunity coming our way and I think it's our time to shine.